We founded Gunfleet with the specific goal of creating a range of world-class cruising yachts. We have a very experienced team here at Gunfleet Marine, starting with our chairman Richard Matthews, our designer Tony Castro. Between the two of them, they have more than 75 years of experience. Some eight and a half thousand production boats afloat somewhere in the world. And we've got a lot of ideas to build better boats and we're determined to create really outstanding yachts that people will relate to as being the ultimate in quality cruising yachts. The key design elements with the Gunfleet 43 were to create a boat with a handsome outboard profile, but above all to be totally practical and comfortable. It is intended as a cruising boat with certainly good performance, plenty of sail area and plenty of stability, so it's safe. And as a result, it's also easy to sail. Well mannered, certainly balanced, which is one of the most important things. Now this is a boat that is as comfortable blue water cruising across the Atlantic as it will be at anchor somewhere in a beautiful bay. One of the key design elements of the Gunfleet 43 is simply the amount of space in it. The number of people that have been on and off the 43, they can't believe the amount of space in the boat. Because of the very long waterline length and relatively wide beam, which is carried quite well off, the boat has incredible accommodation for a 43-footer. Go down below and you've got a super saloon, which is really much, much bigger than you'd expect to find in most boats of this size. The table opens out both sides with two leaves, so that there's more than enough room. We have six place settings for dinner. We have an enormous galley, and you will notice we have a lot of working surface. That is usually a big boat feature. We've got a, a good stainless steel fridge, an optional deep freeze, big sink, lots of room for stowage of utensils, food stowage. But the galley has to be seen to be believed. It really is big for a yacht of this size. But then you go aft and you've got a full-size centerline double berth, which is the sort of thing you normally expect to find, again, on much larger yachts. Uh, as you can see, it is a center cockpit design, but it has the advantage that it gives you an absolute fantastic aft cabin, which I'm sure you agree it's unique in, in a boat of this size. The whole of the aft cabin arrangement, including the ensuite, is very nicely laid out, very stylish and practical. There's drawers, there's lockers, lots of space, and it's a really nice environment. And the aft heads is another nice feature, and we have a separate stall shower. Very few boats in this size range manage that. Going forward, we've got a V-berth, which can easily turn into a decent double. The forward heads has got a double door arrangement, so that can be closed off and used as an ensuite when that cabin's in use, or as a day head when it isn't. And taking the whole interior accommodation in, into account, the joinery and the detailing on the boat exude style. It's the kind of joinery that you'd normally expect to find on, on much larger custom sailboats and certainly not on a yacht of this size. I was particularly keen to think about what people do when they are not actually sailing. You know, what can they do? Where do they sit? On the Gunfleet 43, we made sure that the area behind the cockpit can be used almost as an extended cockpit area with sun loungers, which will be absolutely fantastic when you are cruising and, for example, at anchor is somewhere nice, you suddenly have a very large living area from the companionway all the way to the transom to go swimming or to lie in sunbathe or to sit in the cockpit and, and, and have your lunch. Very few yachts of this size actually have a lazarette locker, especially one as big as the Gunfleet 43 has. This is a major feature, and anyone who's done blue water or liverboard type cruising will know that you never have enough storage space for things that live in the lazarette. One of the key elements we wanted to incorporate was to have ease of sailing. Things needed to be easily within reach and easily operated. And we quickly developed the concept of a steering wheel that didn't have spokes between the helmsman and the instruments that he needs to use. 
whole idea of this is to make use of the new modern range of chart plotters. This gives you a clear, unrestricted view of the pedestal, and we can call up all the sailing instruments, navigational data, even some of the electric circuits down below can all be controlled from the pedestal, so it's really cutting edge, actually. We wanted to design a sailplane that was very easy to use. You still, on the other hand, have some nice features, just like you would on a, a fairly sort of sexy racing boat. And so you think to yourself, this boat ought to sail well. What surprises me is how well the boat slips along in relatively light airs, but at the same time she's nimble, but she's also stiff. You get the feeling that the boat really carries its weight well and, and has got good stability, um, but it just feels different. It feels lighter on the helm, it feels just a little more sprightly and certainly a lot more fun to sail. And with the flight deck pedestal system, which works really well, it's, it's a joy to sail. Compared with other heavy blue water cruising yachts, and this is a blue water cruising yacht, it just has sparkling performance. You really just have to experience it to believe it. We have tried to design and then build a boat that is higher quality than our competitors. To achieve this, we use state-of-the-art computer tools, which allows us to optimize the detail endlessly. And what this means is that we can design every single aspect of the boat in one file and check for interference, whether it is from the plumbing, to the cable trays, to the structure, to the interior furniture, to some headliner, to the bolts that bolt the winch to the deck. We are able to check all of these things and minutely change the position of any of these items to improve the design. Nowadays we have tools which we call them velocity prediction programs where we simulate uh, various uh, designs and we can compare how they perform over a variety of wind speeds so that we can end up with a solution that gives us you know, the best possible boat. With this uh, sophisticated design tools comes another advantage. We can use these 3D models to CNC cut the male models and the tooling to manufacture the boat. This gives us outstanding accuracy, making sure that what we design is actually what is going to be manufactured. Our construction team is made up of some of the best people in the business. Each of these guys has been working in the industry for many, many years and are amongst the best that you can get. The construction process starts in the composite shop. We've got a very experienced team of fiberglass laminators and gel coaters. After cutting on our state-of-the-art CNC machine, all of the joinery panels are put together by our team of very experienced cabinet makers and boat joiners. This is a 43-footer built to the same standards as 60 and 70-footers. Generally speaking, and it's not there are exceptions to the rule, but generally build quality tends to diminish with the size of the boat. The Gunfleet 43 is the exception to that rule. You supplement that by doing careful checks on quality throughout the build program and doing a really careful commissioning process. It's essential that you have a committed team who have an understanding of quality if you want to produce a quality outcome. We're very fortunate with the team of the joiners in particular that we have who know precisely what a top quality interior should look like and that's how they approach their work the way they construct the joints, the way they prepare the timber, the way they prepare it for the varnishes and the polishes. There's really something to see and you just have to have a committed team to do that and we have that committed team. At the end of the day, when you finish a yacht like the Gunfleet 43, you have to ask yourself, did it turn out the way we intended when we first set about designing this yacht? And the answer for the 43 is, yes it did and then some. For me personally, when I see the finished Gunfleet 43, I think the thing that I'm most impressed with is how so much experience and so much talent has come together to make a truly beautiful yacht that is not just good to look at, but that I know behind the scenes, the quality of manufacture, 
the design input that's gone into it, the strength of the craft, its suitability for its use. It just gives you a very good feeling.